Hey guys and gals, Sweet Project Cars here, and we are on our Junk to Gem project, and we are on episode two. You gotta make sure you watch all the episodes. It'll be up in the top corner of the uh, video so you know which one you're watching. But we're not, we're gonna actually try to do something a little bit different, and we're going to try to shoot these videos with no editing so you can see what kind of dog and pony show you're actually watching here. It ought to be pretty funny because we make a lot of mistakes and I say we, I mean Julio, uh, Consuelo, uh, Car Carmelita, and uh, Rosalita. Rosalita. You notice I didn't say me. But anyhow, um, and I thought I probably ought to wear my new shirt that I got for Christmas, early Christmas present. But what we're gonna do on this is, it's called First Things First on this episode and there's certain things that i've got to be able to do to this vehicle to be able to even stomach getting into it and as you can see all the doors are open wide open and have been for days other than the day it rained so i'm trying to air out the stink and the stench and the it just stinks bad so hey guys and gals i know i got a lot of stink in here and i know there's a dead mouse in one of those vents right there so i picked this awesome tool up right here this bore scope, and I can shove this down in every vent until I find that dirty dog. This thing is handy, and you don't need Bluetooth, and you don't need a cell phone, and it's got an SD card in it. It records your stuff for you. Awesome tool. Just thought I'd throw that in there when you're doing some inspection on your vehicle. So, what we're going to do here, and it's the day before Thanksgiving, so I think it's pretty awesome. You can still wear sandals and shorts and... These are my OSHA approved sandals. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is tear out all these floor mats. And you can see inside there, the stain along the edge of the carpet on the far right side, right up by the console thing there. You see how nasty that is? Mm. All right, we've got a way to treat that because one cleaning is not gonna do this van. So we're going to tear out all the floor mats and it's part of one reason that this thing stinks. So we're gonna head back this way. We're gonna lay that right there. Follow me. That's a bonus. Cup holder. These things are decked out. This is like the Lamborghini of family hauling rig right here. And there's nothing back there. It's just these three. But look how dirty the driver's side is. Not very nice. All right, now here's our concoction. And what I'm doing is I'm not going to use a lot of the good cleaning for our solutions that we've done over the years for you because it's going to take a couple of cleanings to get the stains out of this carpet. I'm going to use what we use as a pre-clean and it works really good. You're going to love this. Uh, it, it does the job for a pre-clean and it will let it soak for a few days and then come back and power wash off the floor mats and then start cleaning the carpet. It's part of the dog and pony show. Yep. That's the dog and pony show I'm talking about. All right, so what I have here in this bucket, about two and a half gallons of really hot water. And in there, I put some Oxy, a half a cup to a cup of Oxy in two and a half gallons. And then I'm going to use our favorite lawn, uh, dish soap. And I'm going to squeeze in about a cup. I'm going to mix that up with my best spray bottle in the world. Julio, tell everybody where all the tools are located. Thank you, Julio, Cesar, Chavez, Rodriguez, uh, Miguel, Alvarez. All right, so it's mixed up. Now I'm going to fill this bottle. And the water's really hot. We're going to try to do it without speeding the camera up too. Just so you can see what's all going on. So I got about, I don't know, half a bottle there. And I should do it. And we're going to take, you never throw cans away. Because this will go in the trash after I'm done with it. And we're just going to come over here. 
and do this number. And this pre-clean will do a fantastic job. I'm just going to soak those down. And the more dirt you get out, means the more stench you get out. You will not believe the transformation of this vehicle. We've been working on cars for over 40 years now and uh, we've got the tricks of the trade to make our life easier. And these will sit outside I don't know three four days maybe longer or until the first day it rains and we'll let it rain on it there's nothing that's uh, better cleaner than rainwater and it takes effort to do this I guess there are some people that don't do it and they like to live in uh, squalor <laughs> I have always believed that uh, those that don't take care of their cars don't take care of many other things if you know what I mean hopefully you're not one of them people that drag your trash can down to the street pulling the trash container next to you while you're driving scratching up the side of your rig I mean it's the vehicle's second most important second uh, largest investment you'll do alright so those are going to set there like that for days or however long and if I have to wet them down again I will now I'm going to come over here with my spray bottle and we'll start back here I think and we're just going to give it a light mess hit the spots that are bad like the bad stains a little bit of puke over here a little bit of vomit over there and we'll take the seats all out when we do this and clean each seat individually if someone was to pay me to clean the interior of this van I can tell you you can make some serious money on the side uh, most of the people that let their vehicles get this dirty have money and they don't care uh, I would charge them to do the whole interior clean the whole interior probably 750 bucks all right so we're going to move the seat ahead just so I can show you this I got Big oh, Butt Johnson right here with me. Yeah, what is that? We're gonna call that vomit or puke or blood, just uh, blood. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna spray it down with our special pre-clean. Nobody wants to buy this vehicle with these kind of stains going on. And I think that might be something that's actually, no, it looks like it'll come loose. So that's what you'll do. You'll go through and spray all the stains that you see. You know, like this steering wheel. Look at this steering wheel if you can see that. How faded out and nasty and dirty that is. It's just horrible. And we're going to make that just absolutely beautiful. Like I said, whoever gets this vehicle is going to love it. So now we're going to spray up here. And we'll just let that set. And if it dries up, it dries up. That's fine. Because we're going to hit it again gonna smell better it already starting to smell better just yeah. from this mixture this mixture is really awesome but you put this mixture together for your pre-clean you're gonna save a lot of money and uh, it's gonna start making it smell better just remember what this looked like before so you can see how we uh, end up making it look now we're gonna hit down here and the reason I was looking for a vehicle with no rust and of course there's no rusty vehicles down here in Florida is because Really, the only way to remove rust, you can cut it out and do all that, but it finds its way back, and it's just a pain. So if you're going to buy a vehicle, I highly suggest you buy one down in Florida. Drive it back. I wanted to throw this in there. Sweet Scoots, we've got a new series going on Sweet Scoots. And we actually have another new bike coming in. Uh, either tonight or tomorrow and I'm gonna to try to videotape it as it comes in and let you take a look at this I think it's gonna blow your mind so if you love motorcycles go to sweet scoots and check it out but that series is going to just rock just like this one is the honeybees are flying around because it stuff smells good so I'm gonna take our uh, bombastic awesome 
weed killing, germ killing, anything that's growing killing machine, this ozone machine is the only way to go. So I'm going to set it in the van. I'm going to turn it to, it's got up to 180 minutes. They all have different ones. We have multiple of these. So whichever one's in the tool list, you'll be the one you want to use. We're going to turn that up to 120 minutes. And then I'm going to set a extension cord to it, turn it on and close the doors all up. That's first things first. And if you do this in this order that we're sharing with you, you're going to have the most beautiful smelling, cleanest vehicle you've ever seen in your life. And yes, we're going to put a special carpet protector on so that it'll, the new owner will be able to have an easy way to keep their carpets clean. Sweet Project Cars, out.